everyone, it's Keely for Soy and Shea and thank you for joining me. In today's life of soap I'm going to be using a fragrance oil called Rainwater. It has top notes of lime and fir needles and cyclamen and herbal notes through its middle and it's all on a base of lily of the valley. Now when I put this soap up for sale it will actually be called Tropical Storm instead of Rainwater. I know there's a lot of people, particularly here in Australia, that do make their soaps using rainwater and even though I do have a rainwater tank here on the property it doesn't have a filter on it as it's there mainly to supply water to things like the washing machine and our toilets so without having that filter on there all those contaminants that wash off the roof I just don't feel safe using in my lye water solution so I use distilled water instead so Keeping in mind that I'm going to be calling it Tropical Storm, I decided I wanted it to have a very blue and silver sort of feel to it. So I've mixed my own shade of dark blue by using some Blueberry um, Delight Mica, which I then added into some olive oil, which is one of the oils in my base soap. And I added a little bit of activated charcoal at a time until I got that nice dark blue color that I was after. I'll also be adding some other blue colours into this, including some Blue Heaven and some Blue Yonder Mica, both of which are from my micro obsession. And then in this little cup here, I've mixed together some Silver Lake and Blizzard Mica with some olive oil, and I'm going to drop this through the middle of the soap as I make it. So let's go and make some soap. Okay, so in my bucket here I have my oils which have cooled down to room temperature. We're now coming into our cooler months. My room temperature is sitting at about 23, 24 degrees at the moment. And I have my lye water solution here. I'm going to pour my lye water into my oils, mix it up, split it out for the colours and then add my fragrance. And then we'll get to pouring. Icing on me so you can see lots of little specks um, forming in the soap so I'm going to give this a quick stick blend and hope that it doesn't seize up my batch if it does I'll just have to have a very quick rethink about what we're doing and so that I don't end up with these two batters really thick I'm thinking what we'll do is pour all of the fragrance into here because I'm going to do an in the pot swirl so ultimately the fragrance will all get dispersed. Icing stick blended out. It is now a lot thicker than what I really wanted it to be, but that's okay. We'll still go ahead and do the in the pot swirl and into the mold. And because that is thicker and the two others are thinner, we should get some nice swirls through there. So all I'm going to do is take my colours, I'm basically going to split my bucket into four parts and pour up from quite high because it is finding it hard to go through and hopefully we'll get a bit of a swirl going.
my buckets have now been scraped out I'm going to give it a quick sort of stir around to try and get some of that lighter blue through the darker blue the dark blue is setting up so I have no idea how this soap is going to turn out but we'll see all right so I'm going to try and get this into the mold now it's um, this rainwater has kind of really accelerated the trace I've got some really thick dark blue bits and then the lighter blues have stayed a lot more fluid um, so we should get some very interesting swirls all right so I filled that up about halfway and what I'm now going to do is take this mica and I'm just going to pour some through the middle and I'm going to go and grab the hanger and I'm going to swirl that through Well, I say swirl, but I think I've more um, chopped it through because <laughs> the um, the dark blue has actually gone really quite chunky in here. Um, and, but the um, turquoisey blues have stayed a little bit more runny. So this should be a very interesting soap. <laughs> buckets completely scraped out I actually do think despite the fact that this is looking like a complete and utter mess that it is going to be really pretty inside so I'm really looking forward to cutting this one I think having the soap at the two different sort of consistencies the really thin and the really thick will give a really nice sort of swirl through there as well I was kind of hoping to get a flatter top on this, but I think I may have to resign myself to the fact that I'm going to have to texture the top. So I'll just try and flatten it out the best I can, and then I will come back and we will texture the top of this. So I've given this a really good knockdown to try and get as many of the possible air bubbles out of it as I can. And I'm now just going to use just a little bit of this silver mica that I have got mixed up just to pop onto the top I'll give it a little bit of a swirl and then we will texture the top as well going to leave the top of the soap just like that because it had set up so quickly by putting that paintbrush through to swirl that mica in it it's given it a really nice sort of textured top and I don't really want to mess around with it too much more in case I do completely wreck it and just smear all that mica through so I'm going to leave this sit here for the next 24 hours and then I'm going to come back and cut it and show you what it looks like on the inside it's been about 18 hours and I'm now ready to cut this rainwater or as I'll be calling it tropical storm soap. I'm really loving the colour of this soap and the sides of it look pretty awesome there. Um, it is a lot lighter than what I had hoped for but I really really like that colour. To me it does look really really rainy. Um, so hopefully we've got some really nice swirls going on on the inside here. So I'm just going to line that up on my soap cutter and down we go. Oh, wow, I can already see from the end there it's going to look really nice inside. So... I think because the um, the darker blue colour, that must be the dark blue that I made up, I thought that would be the most prominent colour, but um, it looks like the other two colours that I mixed up have combined together to make a lighter blue colour, which has now become sort of like the base colour of the soap. I'm still really, really happy. In this piece, you can see some of the, the silver 
mica showing through and there's another bit on that side. I think the pattern and the colouring has happened because that dark blue, which is what I put all that fragrance oil into and it riced on me, um, went really thick and then that lighter blue then must have just become the more dominant colour. In this piece I can see that there is a slight distinction between the two different lighter blues that I did put in. So although this is um, not exactly um, as I thought it may have turned out, I am super, super happy with it. And I'm loving the little bits of mica line that are in this soap. So I'll grab this piece here. So you can see just down here there's a wisp of that mica and oil and this one's got all those veins through this side so i'm really pleased with how this has turned out it's turned out completely unexpected for me um, but it is still a very very pretty soap the way it's come up so i hope you've enjoyed watching me make my tropical storm or rainwater soap if you did please leave me a thumbs up down below and any comments or questions and i'll get back to you when i can and um, if you haven't already, why not subscribe to the channel by hitting the subscribe and then the little bell and it will let you know the next time I bring a soap making video to you. So till next time, have a great week. Bye.